Hello guys, welcome back to Steven's Garage. Today, I'm working on this 2001 Chevy S10 pickup. My own personal work truck. And I stuck this canopy on her and the rear end started sagging more than usual. And then anytime I put a load in, it sags. So I'm going to be replacing the rear shocks. I got these upgraded ones that have the uh, the spring wrapped around the outside. I think they're called coilovers. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to do it. It's fairly simple to do. You don't need many tools. I'm using this 3/8 drive rattle gun to make it easier. You're going to need an extension, a 13, and a 21 millimeter. Once you get the truck up on jack stands, climb underneath. And you can see shock is right there and then on the back side it's gonna be 21 millimeters socket for this guy and then you're gonna have two 13 millimeter bolts up top on both sides so here we are on the passenger side we got bolt with the two bolts up there and the nut down here taken off Actually, I've done on both sides. So, I'm going to compress the shock down. Just wiggle it off. Pull it right out. Okay. And here, you can clearly see that the shock is bad. Because you should not be able to compress it like that and not have it come back out. See? So my rear shocks are completely shot. That's why I'm gonna be replacing it with this guy. They look way longer, but once they get the load on them from the truck, they're gonna restore my original ride height and give me a nice stiff suspension, at least in the rear, because I haven't done the fronts yet. Those are gonna be done in a uh, upcoming video and it'll help me carry my loads better. So what I didn't take into account was how much harder these shocks are gonna be to compress. And I don't have a spring compression tool, so what I ended up doing was move the jack stands onto the frame and I let the rear axle drop way further down to the point where I can compress these enough to get them slipped onto the bolt that's right there holding the bottom on. So next, I'm going to jack up the uh, the rear end and get the axles back up under it for safety and then get everything tightened down. Okay, so I got everything torqued down. What I found online was 67 foot-pounds of torque. Those top ones are a bit difficult to get to. I ended up actually dropping the, um, the spare tire so I can have a little more leverage and room to uh, torque them down. Now I'm ready to get the vehicle put back on the ground. Now that the vehicle's put back on the ground, you can really see a difference. I forgot to take a before picture, but basically I could not fit my shoe in to this gap. When I tried putting my foot up like this, I would not be able to do that and have this much space to move it around. So this is awesome. And just stepping on the back, pushing some weight on it, it feels much better compared to these old shocks that are still compressed ever since I took them off. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this video helped. I'll put the link in the description for which shocks I put on. And you don't necessarily have to get those ones that are spring assisted. I just need a stiffer ride so I can put more weight in the bed. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button.